In this video, I'm going to show how to add in your bill of materials, create an exploded view, and review how to use callouts. So here is my assembled isometric. I want to put in my bill of materials. So you go to Insert, Tables, Bill of Materials. Select the part, and then you can choose where you want it. The bottom, the top, so on. I'm just going to go with the generic check mark and drop this in. Right now there's an additional column that I don't need. So if I right click on that column, I choose delete the column and it goes away. Your bill of materials will list your parts as they are saved and then the quantity. It will also assign a number to each one. So I talk about adding in balloons as well to associate what the base is, what the drive bin is. So you go to view layout, I'm sorry, annotation and balloon. You could ind independently place your balloons for each part. The other option, you can choose auto balloon, but this will require you to manipulate the parts after. And then click on the view and a check mark. And normally, there we go, replace balloons. Sorry, because I have one in. And I could drag these around and move them to show what each one is. So part two is my drive pin. Part three is the handle, whatever I have it saved as. If you want to manipulate the text in here, you can easily do that just by doubling, double clicking on it and choosing either keep link or break link if you want it to actually change it. You could also make everything in all caps, which is something that I would require doing. So I chose keep on one, break on the other. And all I'm doing is Making each one capitals. So that is your bill of materials, which is insert, table, bill of materials, and your balloons, which are the annotation tab, balloon or auto balloon. My next page, I have my orthographic. Here I have my section assembled. I shouldn't have to show you guys how to make those. You can look back at the sections and then the exploded view. Here is my orthograph, sorry, isometric assembled. I want to show this in the exploded state that I created. To do that, you select the view right here to show an exploded state. So if you find that you bring in parts and they're automatically in the exploded state, all you have to do is deselect show exploded and it'll bring up the exploded view. And then as a review, making a call out. So here's an example of where you might need a call out to define this one part. The way that I did this, view layout, detail view, and then I draw around the area where I want my detail view. Drop this off to the side, and I can adjust the size of this by scrolling down and adjusting my size. 